Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you're sticking with me to learn all that I have to share. I spend a lot of time talking about immigrant inclusion in the workplace because I'm an immigrant originally from Cameroon, have been in the US for about 10 years, started my career about eight years ago, and struggled greatly to bring my authentic self to work to understand the corporate culture. A lot of people who like me are immigrants or multinationals in the workplace are able to relate with a lot of the struggles that I talk about. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of building relationships. Now when I just started First of all, communicating on the job was very difficult. I wasn't sure what to say. I wasn't sure that I knew enough to contribute to the conversation. So a lot of the times I was quiet. A lot of the times I was not participating, even in just social chit chats about sports that by the way, I did not know about or restaurants and things like that. And so I came to work really not caring about the next person that sat by me. I was just interested in doing the work and getting out of it. I came there, buried my head onto the project on my computer. And then when it was time for me to go home, I was out of the door. Now that did not take me so far because in this corporate culture, in this corporate America culture, you would have to build relationships. We build relationships not for what we can get out of them, but for also what we can give to them. You are never going to succeed or climb the ladder being an island. Relationships are important. In fact, someone said this, that your net worth is your net work. Your net worth is your net work. Meaning that those that are in your network contribute to your net worth. The people that are able to speak about you even when you're not you are in the not room. doing yourself a service. If you go to work every day, clocking in and clocking out and not building meaningful relationships. It is one thing to be strategic about the relationships that you want to build. It's another thing to just wander into the break room and find someone there that you click with and then you build from there. But I always say be strategic about your relationships. On the job who do you want in your corner relationships could be a mentor mentee relationship it could be a relationship with a sponsor it could be a relationship with a co-worker it could be a relationship with someone else who is doing the kind of work that you see yourself doing five years to come either way never get on the job or go to work and just be in and out and not care about the relationships that you should be creating. Go out of your way. Say this, not to say it is easy. Because when you're starting out, you're overly conscious. I was overly conscious of myself, of what I didn't know. It's gonna take courage to put yourself in a position to strategically build the relationships. Meaning that when you start out, it might feel awkward. You might feel that that kick in your gut where you're feeling like you're extending out a hand towards a person and trying to create that relationship by scheduling one-on-ones with them or meetings with them or introductory calls that might feel like a kick in your gut but that's okay that's part of the growth process that's how you know that you're growing because you're stepping out of your comfort zone because you're doing something uncomfortable but that would only get better over time in how you create those relationships. And even when you get comfortable, it's okay to be able to tell that person, well, this is where I come from. This is what I'm struggling with. This is what I'm growing in. This is where I need support. Either way, do yourself a good service to build your network. Build it at a lateral level. Also build it vertically. Make sure that you're filling your garden with flowers, the flowers being the people in your network. I hope this has helped someone and stay tuned for more videos of the sort where I'm going to be teaching about immigrant inclusion in the workplace.